Hey guys, welcome to the Ultimate Exotics Reptile channel. Today we're going to be feeding some of our favorite arboreal vipers, the variable bush viper. So we're going to start off by talking uh, or teaching you a little bit about them and then we're going to go and start feeding them and show you how we do it. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these bush vipers here. This is one of my favorites. It's got such unusual colors. So now these are called the variable bush viper, Atheris squamegara, and they also, um, for short, we call them squams. And the reason why they got the name the variable bush viper is because they vary so much in color. So you can get pitch black ones, bright red ones, bright yellow ones, blue, almost any color you can think of and any color com combination you can think of. And this one you can see has got this unusual orange head and this beautiful maroon color with orange tinged to it. It's really incredible. And here you can see also how we keep them. So we have the substrate that we call it our premium wood chips. Um, they don't like it too wet, these guys. They like it a bit drier. Uh, we have a hot spot of about 30 degrees Celsius and then a water bowl. And we use this um, black plastic grid. Uh, which we fold inside the enclosure and uh, as these are boreal they sit on that grid and we put a, a bit of fake vine there and it just gives them that sense of security and it's a, a perfect type of setup for them. Simple, easy to clean and uh, easy to keep hygienic. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Here we go. So this is a male. And he's a bit bigger than the previous one you saw and you can see how different his color is to that previous one and he's just also just absolutely beautiful these guys don't get very big that's what's also so nice about them they they only get to about 60 centimeters in size so they're easy to work with they don't get too large and they just do so well these are all, all captive bred animals that have, uh, we've grown up here at ultimate exotics and in their natural habitat, they come from West and Central Africa. So it's pretty warm there, and that's why they like it quite warm. And then we spray these guys, uh, give them a light misting once a week. So now let's have a look at some of the other ones and we'll start the feeding. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. This one's a lot darker. This is one of our females, a bit smaller than that previous one we saw. So being bush vipers or variable bush vipers, these, these are venomous snakes. You do not want to get bitten. Although their venom is considered milder than some of the other deadly snakes, um, very little is known about these guys' venom. And there's also no uh, anti-venom for any of the Atheris species. And so, in any case, you've got to really avoid being bitten by all costs. And for anyone um, out there that's keen to get into venomous snakes, the best thing to do and the first thing you should do is go and um, attend a venomous snake handling course just to get a better understanding of venomous snakes and how to work with them. And, um, you, you know, when it comes to keeping venomous snakes, it's a big responsibility as, uh, you know, you've got to look after yourself. You've got to protect yourself from being bitten and other people around you. So it is... It's a lot of responsibility keeping venomous snakes and you've got to make sure that you understand everything about it before you get into it. But it can be so rewarding once you, once you start keeping these guys. Okay, so let's start off with some feeding now. This is one of the smaller ones. So, like I was saying earlier, these guys, they feed really well. And, and when they're born, they're really small snakes and you think, yes, these are going to be impossible to feed. But these teas feed really well. And the term teas feed is where we take their prey item. We use a frozen thawed pinky or a pinky part. And we then just tap it on their head or body or tail to kind of um, coax them to bite onto the prey. To stimulate a feeding response bite. And as they bite on, we then let go of the prey with the tweezers. And they slowly start chewing it and swallowing it. And over time, eventually they just take the prey and that you don't have to even touch them but these smaller guys we do have to just bump them on the head which we're going to show you now so we feed frozen thawed um, pinky mice in the wild these guys would eat lizards 
frogs, small mammals and birds, but in captivity they do really well on frozen thawed mice. So I'm just going to grab this one here with the tweezers. Okay, let's see if this one's ready to eat. Yeah, he bit straight away and then I'm going to gently let go and he's bitten on there. So I didn't even have to tease this one. He's already learned that that's food and he happily bit it. And what happens is they bite and then they inject their venom and then you'll see they sit very still for a few seconds and then they'll start slowly moving their jaws and working that spray down from the head. Okay, this is one of our bigger holdback snakes. You can see he's actually just shed and now he is ready to eat and he's his head you can see just below that black uh, just below the leaves you can see him sitting in an s-shaped position there hanging down waiting for prey to move past him and he's going to strike so i'm just going to get a fuzzy a frozen thawed fuzzy i'm going to just move it down there in front of him and let's see if he And there you go, straight away. So you can see how these guys have learned. And when we first got this this guy, he was so 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 tiny and we were tease feeding him pinky parts and now he's just doing so well. Okay, let's feed this bigger boy here. Got a slightly bigger mouse fuzzy. And he might need a bit of teasing. And there he goes, bites on straight away. Okay, this one is sitting on the floor, which is okay. He's sitting on the hot spot, warming up for the day, which is no problem at all. You can still feed when they're sitting on the floor. And this one's got a very unusually bright yellow color, which is really beautiful. So let's see if she's ready to eat. And there you go, straight away. So they're feeding really well now. Okay, let's see if this, this one will, will eat for us. And sometimes it takes a few goes before they bite on and eat. So as you saw, it can bite and bite and bite and then eventually they bite and hold on and start eating. This is when you have to sit really still and wait for them to swallow it. feed this one now this one's an incredible color it's like a dark blue color I really like the dark ones let's see if he's gonna eat there you go nice strong bite there and what's quite amazing is that like I mentioned before from the bite they then sit very still and then after about a minute or so, then they start to swallow the prey. But when these guys start swallowing, they swallow the prey so quickly and it's much quicker than I've noticed in other snakes. And you would have seen in that time lapse before, when they start swallowing, it goes down so fast. And it looks like they've got such thin necks, which they actually do have, but that skin stretches very easily and they can swallow quite a large prey item. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something about these incredible vipers, the variable bush viper. Uh, just a bit of advice for those guys that are keen on keeping venomous snakes that are passionate about it. Make sure to do that venomous snake handling course. Find uh, one in your area 
or book one and try and get it done, but it's an essential thing. And then another bit of advice, make sure to have the right tools. For the variable bush vipers, we've got a good set of tweezers and we have a nice strong hook and make sure they're the right distance to make sure to keep your hands away from the sharp end of these snakes. So yeah, just make sure you have the correct experience and the right tools and the right safety protocol in your room where you're keeping these snakes. And that, that is probably the best advice for these guys. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.